हेलो क्लास हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर इन्जॉइंग योर विंटर ब्रेक्स सो एज यू नो योर विंटर्स आर क्वाइट हैवी सो योर विंटर ब्रेक्स आर किप्स इंक्रीजिंग सो नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड यो वाई रिविजन क्लासेस सो टुडे इज योर सेकेंड वीडियोज ऑफ वीडियो ऑफ यो वाई सीरीज टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अनदर टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक नेम इज केमिकल चेंज ओके केमिकल चेंज एंड वी विल ऑल्सो गो थ्रू केमिकल चेंज एंड फिजिकल चेंज डिफरेंसेस ओके सो आई विल स्टार्ट दीडियो सो वॉट इज अ केमिकल चेंज अ केमिकल चेंज अकर्स वैन टू और मोर केमिकल सब्सटेंसेज रिएक्ट टू फॉर्म अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट दैट हैव एन इंटायरली डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज अ केमिकल चेंज इज मोस्टली irreversible so <clears throat> uh, uh, see focus on two three points uh, which i'm uh, going to tell you the first thing is <clears throat> here how many uh, chemical substance are uh, reacting two or more two or more chemical substances are reacting okay now <clears throat> Uh, what product we are getting we are getting a completely new product that will have entirely different set of properties entirely different <clears throat> so uh, i will give you some example i think that will more uh, helpful for you like cooking food see this cooking food uh, when you uh, bring the rice and It, then you will see that it is quite hard okay and it has no taste but after cooking it you will see that rice will puffed okay pehle kya hota hai beta bilkul patla sa hota hai rice then kafi wo phool jata na bada ho jata hai so kya ye dikha raha hai ki that a chemical reaction has taken place okay <coughs> ripening of fruit okay ripening of fruit is also an example of uh chemical change what is happening here here the fruit which is not been ripened get ripened and the taste of it completely different up when you will see like mango when it is not ripened it will taste you quite sour beta jab kachcha aam hota hai to kaisa lagta hai khatta sa lagta hai na but when it became ripened so what happened it becomes very sweet the taste the properties are completely different na why it is happening it is happening because of the chemical change okay and one more thing is there in, uh, with chemical change the thing is the chemical changes are mostly irreversible see this point mostly irreversible not always but mostly irreversible irreversible means uh can you convert a ripened mango uh to a green mango no no why because it is a chemical reaction kya beta uh, if your food is cooked okay kya beta usko fir se uncooked mein aap convert kar sakte ho no you cannot convert it so <clears throat> again so what happening it the process of chemical change is irreversible it cannot be reversed back okay so what is a chemical change chemical change is a change in which we are getting a new substance by the combination of two or more reactants if two or more reactants will react we will get a product and that product will be entirely different from the reactants okay so i hope you understood so now the task for you is <clears throat> to find the things huh, where you will find that uh, chemical change is happening or physical change is happening in around your areas okay now <clears throat> so there is a chemical change but in the class we have also discussed about a, a change uh, the name of the change is physical change so physical change we have also discussed in the class 
<coughs> so uh, today i will not go through the physical change but i will give you a comparison video and from the comparison video uh, from the comparison section you will also understand what is physical change and what is the difference between the two changes so what is a physical change the physical changes are mostly reversible okay so first you understood what is a physical change <coughs> so uh, suppose uh, you have uh a uh, plastic okay plastic pen so uh when you are trying to write on the e copy it suddenly uh started this this functioning it's not working so what you did you went to the market and bought another for another pen okay so when you bought another pen uh, that pen um, suddenly got broke out the cap of that pen suddenly got broke out but since you had you already had a pen that uh, ink had uh, dropped what you did you started to uh, you change the cap from the, that old pen to the new pen now you started uh, your new uh, new pen is started working again okay so basically what happening here in the cases of physical change <coughs> the new substance is not formed means that pen you bought uh, you bought a new pen but that pen started this uh, that pen cap was uh, broken out so what do you have done you have taken the cap from another uh, pen and used started using it into your new pen so in in that process that a new substance formed or not no so in a physical change is a change in which the there is not a formation of a new substance new substance will not form okay and uh, mm, the substance will retain its chemical properties okay the substance will retain its chemical properties and physical changes are also mostly reversible so like uh, uh, if you have uh, um, put any color into the water will the uh, chemical properties of water change most probably not okay can you to uh, uh, remove the uh, color from the water yes you can remove okay you can remove color from the water also does a new substance is formed obviously not so it is a physical change now what is a chemical change chemical changes are not reversible the changes which are not reversible we have already discussed okay if a milk is converted into curd can you reverse the process can curd is reconverted into the milk no so it is a chemical change okay and another point one or more new substance are formed one or more when milk is converted into the curd curd is a new substance but when you have mixed the color into the water that the chemical a new substance is formed or not in case of physical change no because you have just mixed the dye so it will it will just uh, change the color but not a new substance is formed but in the case of chemical change a new substance will form the substance in case of physical change the substance will retain its chemical properties but in case of chemical change the new substance formed formed have different properties from the original substance okay so in physical change uh the changes are mostly reversible there will be no new substance formed the substance will retain its chemical properties but when you come to the chemical change it will be like uh, the process will be reversible one or more substance are formed and no new substance formed have different properties than the original substance okay so i hope like you like the video thank you Thank you everybody.